Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. With some of you, peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. It's important to understand something about Melanie King. When Melanie King did her interview of um, Rosie Carr, and the title of it was, simply put, uh, Was Kevin Samuels Right? That was important for one reason, that Rosie would try to do this both sides thing and Melanie would cut her off and over talk her. It was Melanie's channel. She had the right to do that, although Rosie had the right to leave. And I am one that advocates people hearing each other out. I'm making an exception in this one because frankly, the red pill community men are generally right about women's nature. Now, our tactics are right and wrong because the tactics are mixed. Some of us respond with pump and dump, smash and dash. Others of us respond with, well, no, marriage is fine, but we're not marrying in front of the state and we're not telling men to be loose with the Johnsons. I'm going to take, as I stated in my last upload, the approach of male chastity. We do not run around here giving away ding -a -ling for free. How's a woman going to respect you if you do? Even if she's giving away the cooch for free, she's not going to respect the man that gives away the dingling for free, especially if he offers the dingling and she didn't really want it in the first place. And if she did want it and he offers it, then she's like, well, I mean, he gave me what I wanted. I wanted so bad and he gave it to me, so I still can't risk it. it you, just, you can't win. And with Melody, I'm sorry, I'm a little stuffed up, stuffed up, so it sounds like I'm saying Melody, but I mean to say Melanie. I know that's her name. So what Melanie did was necessary. Melanie told Rosie Carr, no, it's not both sides. No, it's not the men and the women. No, the men can't do these things. And to a certain extent, even the Chads and the Tyrones that we all want have to settle. It's not what you're saying it is. It is as simple as, no, the men, the men gotta settle. We're making the men settle. We're, and you know what? They're right, absolutely. Melanie is right. The red pill men are right. We're right about this. And Chad's going to have to settle for too much. But it comes down to this. If everybody's settling, the fact remains that Western women are settling for what they don't want or less than what they want because what they want doesn't exist. They want things that cannot exist together. They're mutually exclusive, cancel each other out. So what they want does not exist. When men settle for less than what we want, it is because women refuse to be what we want even when they can. They just refuse to be any combination of things that we like, no matter how reasonable we make it. Therein lies the difference. Melanie said she learned about herself from the red pill community. Rosie wanted to talk about empathy and Melanie had to tell her and cut her off to do this and say, but there is empathy. The men are empathizing and telling the men what women's nature is like. I mean, I even had to learn about myself. Andrew Tate, who compares the niqab of the Muslim woman to dehumanization, which means that's not cool. We're not going to agree with him on that as Muslims. Did in fact express empathy for regular normal men, although he is Mr. Super Achiever, he expressed empathy for regular normal men who are invisible to women, but are still expected to step up and pay things. That's empathy. There are men that are moving around now throughout this world and, and they're, they're self-improving and they're attracting more and more women. And whether they knock them down or whether they don't, they're still attracting them and they're seeing the options and are able to sympathize with the majority of regular normal men who not only don't have these options, but were lied to and deceived into becoming exactly who would not have hardly any options at all. That's sympathy. Mr. Samuels initially did not have any sympathy for men despite the fact we've been lied to. He developed it over time. And he began to lose more and more and more sympathy with the women. Now you got Kendra G. Now Kendra D's always been uh, red pill, you know, man is against the hyenocracy and all that. But now I'm talking about Kendra G, whose dad sat up there and started talking this simp stuff about women divine and men low animal. Yeah, guess what? Uh, she's beginning to gain sympathy for men and lose sympathy for women because she knows what the deal is women are coming with negative stuff I got a good wife and at times I got to stop her and tell her and, and, and shift her paradigm times it has to happen I had to tell her one thing 
had to tell her that every time we consummate, it ain't going to be a marathon. Quickies and marathons each have their points. There are times for both. And if we get busy and we go several days or even over a week and we don't consummate, you don't talk to me about an effing marathon at that point. You can get both or you can get the quickie by itself. Now, the funny thing is, I'm actually um, I'm actually capable of, of going a normal amount of time, even after a long time without consummating the marriage. But why would I tell her that? It can still be inconvenient. So why sit up here and always go through the inconvenience unconditionally? It's not biologically realistic. Now, that's not really anything that's her fault, per se, except the forgetting part after I told her once. But she's not a rebellious woman that sits up and rolls her neck and puts up attitude and, and all this other stuff, too. So that's why I say she's a good wife. But even when you have a good wife, you have to remind them of things they forget. The name for women in Arabic is Nisa. And it is related to the name for humanity, which is Nas, but both of them come out of the same root, Nasa, which means he forgot. And Nisyan is the, the verbal noun for forgetting or forgetfulness. Human beings and in a different derivative, women, when named for forgetfulness, they will forget. Now, that's a good one. The word um, Vekir is used for males. The gender males, whether it's humans or other species. Because, well, that comes from the root Dhakara, he remembered. The command form will be Ithkar, remember. So we're actually named for remembering. That's in Arabic. Now imagine when you got these neck rolling attitude having Western women that don't even want to be reminded. They forget and won't let you remind them. You don't tell me nothing. You don't check me. So what I forgot, you better remember. Then what? So that's why even when you got someone that's trying to get away from that Westernization like Rosie Carr, what it's going to take is going to take some women like Melanie King, who, though not young, she's the age I like, but she's not young enough for most men. But though not young, is still attractive. Nice to look at. You need someone like that doing exactly what would have been done to them by the hyenocracy, interrupting them and shutting them down, interrupting these lukewarm, trying to get out of these hyenocracy women and shutting them down. That's what has to happen. Shut them down. Ain't no both sides. Long as you're talking about both sides, you're wrong. End of. Because as I stated before, as many of us have stated before, as Melanie was telling her before, the men that walked around and changed a lot of women's natures were the few men that all women want. And they would already condition explorer options and sort of wild oats and all this other stuff. And the chances were because the ones that would take that advice were not going to be faithful. So they were the ones most likely to get around with the most women. That means most women were most likely to accept being a practice dummy of one of these men. And then they get mad and they want the men with whom they don't want to procreate to come and pick up the pieces. Take the blame, pick up the pieces and raise the other one's children. End of. We need, it is time for these ladies to over talk these other women because understand ladies when you're aware and you're trying to be fair like Melanie like Pink Book Lessons Kendra D increasingly so Kendra G um, Jessica X Melody Speaks when you are becoming exactly what the hyenas call a pick me they're going to shut you down by trying to shut you up and out talk you. You're doing the right thing. Lure in the ones that are on the fence and over talk them. Not with hatred, but with facts. No, these men, most men cannot walk around here with high body counts. What woman's going to let them? None. No, most men are not. Uh, uh, being approached by women. Most men don't have women throwing themselves at them unless maybe they're taken and they got a ring on their finger. Oh, yeah, of course, then. No, most men are not sought after to both be um, physically satisfied, intellectually satisfied and also pair bonded to where they're raising their own kids. 
It's not like that. Few men are sought after for the genes and the other men are sought after for the means. Some to breed, the others to feed. Some to lay and play, the others to pay. Most get the worst deal, the responsibility. And it's good that Melanie point Melanie pointed this out. If you were one of the ladies that's on our side, stop letting these fence riders even so much as I wouldn't say don't let them finish the sentence, but over talk them with facts. Don't let them spew that. Let, let them know you done heard that crap before and you know what's crap. They don't know. You don't hate them. You're going to tell them, but it's crap and you know it. And now they're going to know it. Let them know. You don't need to hear their rhetoric. Both sides healing. Guys be humble and come back. Shuck that fit. And when these ladies start talking about because uh, now they're looking into their phone cameras and saying you all were right. We were wrong. Uh, be humble. Come back. They're still not saying you were right. We were actually what they're saying is you were right. They're not even saying we were wrong. They're saying you were right. Please come back. We need you. No, no. Shuck that fit. You were right. We were wrong. We submit and we're going to prioritize what you prioritize. Need someone to cook? I'm going to do that. You need someone to bend over this couch? You get that quickie out your system? Before the marathon? Got that too. You need a combination of both? Got that too. You, if, and that's what, that, what they need to do is they need to say, we do need you to pay the cost. However, you come in and you are the boss. And we will prioritize the needs of your nuts and your stomach. See, cleaning is actually something women are more into. And they oftentimes when they live by themselves, they're not even into that. We've seen how they live. One reason they get mad at seeing a man who's got an apartment, got a mattress on the ground, and he's got a PlayStation and a chair. Uh, is because one thing that one of the reasons they get mad about stuff like that is because even though that is very sparse, it's not clean. I mean, it is clean. And the way that a lot of these ladies will live, it, it ain't clean. You got women living trifling, turn around, and get with a man, and will be mad about how clean the place ain't, but they want him to get a maid to clean. Because that's the Western woman. And this is what they will do when they've heard so much it's both sides or it's the men. No, it's time for the ladies to say it wasn't you, gentlemen. It wasn't none except the few that we wanted and amongst them, the ones that were willing to get around because they were the ones that we wanted. They were devoted and committed to one and they didn't get around all of us because they said no. It's the ones that we wanted that were also willing to say yes to all of us that ruined us, not you. And as a matter of fact, you know what? It's not fair that we got these high body counts and you couldn't get them. So here's the deal. You come in and I'm going to prioritize the needs of your nuts and your stomach. And I'm going to get a friend that looks the most similar to me and acts the most similar to me. And I'm going to try to talk her into being your other wife. You ain't even got to look. If you mix up, make a mistake, call one of us by the other name. That's the price we got to pay. See, they're not offering this. They're still not doing it. Admitting that something is messed up or that something is missing, but they're still not coming in and saying, hey, look, you know what? You were right. We're wrong. And, and these are the deals that we need to offer. And until that day does come, your best bet is to go ahead and refuse them all and just say to all of them, nope, um, thanks for the apology, but they're still not good enough because you're missing something. See, right now what they're missing is that counter offer they need. But what do they offer in exchange? They're still missing that. A lady that sat in her car and said they just wanted you to not be around when they came for the kids. It's about to get gritty. You need to be humble and come back. No, she still did not make a counter offer. Why should we? So until they start making these points, those of you ladies that are in the know and that are on our side, do what Melanie King did on this interview. Thanks for listening. I hope this helps. I'm not going to go through the whole outro this time. Till next time.